Hey guys, welcome back to the Golden Studio. Hi, Wolf. How are you doing? How are you doing? the audience? I'm doing fine, man. Doing pretty good. I am actually doing very good because I mean, I've so far we had two games that I wouldn't say were once. I mean, they looked a little bit one-sided, but at the same time, we saw like great play from our Protoss player. I mean, yeah, he made a few wrong choices, but the games were just so exciting. And I think we're gonna have more of that. Even if we have a 4-0, I think they're gonna be really, you know, it's one of those 4-0s where like you you look at the results and you're like, oh, he got spanked, but it wasn't really a spanking. It was more like just like a a, yeah. s a nice lecture, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and that's actually um, like Curious's games. For, he played uh, Gumiho in the semifinals, right? Yeah. Yeah, his games for this Gumiho, like even though he three owed, it was like a three. Three to two point five kind of thing, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. because like all three games were really close and could have gone either way, you know. So we're kind of seeing the same thing here. Yeah, even though Curious has won both games, like both games were really good, and uh, especially the last game at times, like could have gone either way. Yeah, Curious um, in his interview said that when he played against Gumio, it was incredibly difficult. It was the hardest opponent he, he played so far, and even though he three would you can see. You know, and, and what even what he said, what Curious said, is that you know sometimes even if you get three would you actually almost beat your opponent. You're just so close. Yeah. Three close games are still a 3-0. That is the case. And uh, next game is going to be on Tolderium Altar. So we get started here. It's a very even map for Zerg versus Pros. A very, very balanced map. Nice big map for a macro game. We're going to find out here in just a second who's going to take game three. All right, down here in the bottom right is our Zerg player. He's been owning it so far. Julius. There he is, and here's our Protoss player. Wants to get revenge against the Zerg who took out his two coaches in the team league. Curious actually took out Choya and Inori in the team league. Very recently. true. Um, Curious, well, you know, we saw him win two games in a row, but he's looking a little bit nervous. In fact, I always like to talk about these things. I know you guys can't see it, but when we were doing the intro, whoa, we're gonna have a ten pool. Curious actually took all of his drones and accidentally boxed them, or he was probably spamming. He boxed and sent them all to one mineral patch. Oh so, like, no. He didn't even split them again, so they all lost a few seconds of mining. So when you're doing a 10 pool, that actually affects the, the timing of that the spawning does, pool yeah. quite a bit. That's and why that's why I don't spam like that. A lot of people spam by like selecting all their workers over and over again. I don't do that because of like a few occasions where I was like trying to hit like select drones that I accidentally had all my workers select that I hit stop on them. I mean, of course, if you do it enough, you usually don't do that. But even pros, as we just saw. Are Sometimes make that kind of mistake, and Oz is gonna scout it yeah, right Lucky away. Scout does see the ten pool? He already made a pile at his choke point. May end up using that. He's gonna want to see how many zerlings are made here. He can keep the probe around, no reason not to. It's interesting that he was almost expecting a six pool. He put that forge at his choke point instead of at the larger choke in the front. He yeah. is gonna make the cannons out in front. One of the safest expand builds we've seen Oz do yet. And it's very fortunate for him since it was a 10 pool. Curious is following up with the 18 hatch in the hatchery immediately after making six Zerglings. In fact, he actually only made four Zerglings. He's got two more on the way. And he doesn't even know where his opponent has spawned yet. Oh, now he does. Bounce up with an Overlord just at the right moment. In fact, but yeah. this first cannon finishing, Oz may cancel the second cannon. It's not even absolutely required at this point. He is going to let it finish, though. It's, it's a good safe thing to do. He is going to send another probe in here. If he'd maybe scouted earlier with that probe and seen there wasn't a bunch of Zerglings, he might have canceled it, but it was a little bit too late to, yeah. to make that decision. It's a risky decision indeed. Nexus goes down, Gate goes down. So the Ten Pool has essentially worked as well as it would have. He's forced two cannons, yeah. delayed the Nexus. Yep, and as long as... I mean, he actually did make six Zerglings. Ideally, he would have wanted to make a little bit less Zerglings, I guess, in that situation, but 
he only made six Zerglings. Now, now they're switching up into drones, like you were talking about. He, you know, if you can force your opponent to spend the same amount that you did on stuff that's not economy, then it's right. okay. It's okay. So forcing the Nexus to be delayed means that he's actually going to be okay, at not having spent too many Zerglings. Absolutely. Zerlies right now going to Watchtowers, going to work on those rocks, indicating that Curious wants to take a very fast third base. Right now, the worker count is 22 drones and 25 probes, but five drones are just popping right now, so we're going to equalize that quite quickly. Cybernex, we're going down as the next finishing up here. Double gases have already been taken by Oz in his main base. Yep, and he's going to start mining at his expansion now as well. Ooh, starting very quick plus one. Ooh, interesting. Immediately, as soon as he had that one of the gas, he started plus one. And I'm curious, I'm going to be curious to see if, I'm curious to see if Oz, um, I'm curious what Curious is going to do, but I'm also curious to see if Oz decides to put down just some more gateways after this and figure, you know, he might be figuring, all right, well, he spent that money on the 10 pool. I'm a little bit ahead right now. I should just press this advantage. Or if he's going to try to do something a little trickier. Well, what he wants to know is if there's a third base. And what we're going to find out pretty soon is based on that pylon placement and by the fact that he hasn't taken his gas yet. He could take them soon. Okay, he's going to take one here. There okay, he takes both. So we're not going to see that super quick gateway follow-up. Yeah. But he is probably going to add some gates back there. He's probably going to go up to four gates. Pretty common to see for us to go up to four gates and then start teching. That way they have the ability to hold up almost any sort of hyper-aggression off of two bases at the same time. They can uh, put a little bit of pressure. He's actually going to go up just to three for now. Oh, yeah. A fourth. For some reason, I thought he had two at his front, but I, one was a... Uh... There he goes. In his main, he's out of the fourth oh. one now. All right, there we go. Four gateways. Speed is now on the way. I like the fact that Curious, he did... Re oh, nope. Never mind. There we go. A couple more gateways in the main. Yeah, five gateways, in fact. It's only up to five. Is he going to go for six? Yes, he is. There Six he is. gateways total coming out here for Oz. Okay, so he's definitely going to be putting on some major, major pressure here. With six gateways and two bases, he's going to be able to start putting out tons and tons of units. There are a lot of different variations of this timing. And what we're going to see, most likely, is switch over to only stalker production in just a minute. Right now he's got two sentries. Might make two more. Probably a couple more. Yeah. You, you never want more than six. He's going to want to go with six sentries. He's going to start making stalkers immediately after that. Warp gate is done. He's warping another sentry immediately here. Another sentry. Is he going to get just one more? We're going to find out. I don't know. But he is moving out oh, right now, so out. he's the probably going to start gonna making just stalkers on the low ground there. And certainly speed is not done, actually. Oh, just wow. finishing right now. Oh, he does make one more sentry. This is a very tenuous time right now for Oz, where he doesn't have any stalkers with that army. Those uh, sentries are naked right now. Gotta be careful of those Zerglings. Zerglings coming in trying to snipe one. Really risky by Curious to try to do that. Now there is a complete wall off by Oz. There's actually no counterattacks by Speedlings. Can occur. He's getting plus one armor right now. The Twilight Council is going down. His forward pylon is up. He's been warping most of these stalkers here. He could get zealots as well if he wants to, but I think we're going to see warping stalkers. Probably stalkers. And here they come. The first stalkers coming out. Three stalkers. He's going to get a fourth one as well. This is a very specific timing. A few roaches are starting to come out. Seven roaches on the way. Eleven are already out. She's going to have about 18 roaches when this hits. But this is so many units. Not all the roaches are together here. He needs to really gather them up a lot. He needs to get those overlords oh, out the of there. Oh, the pylon may go down. Sentry warp again scares the Zerglings away. But it looks like Curious has bought enough time here. But plus one armor is about to finish. We may see Blink. Yeah, Blink is starting. Where is? Does he have a probe with his army right now to make another pylon? Or... Actually, it looks I think he's just dependent on that one Yeah, pylon. he actually has lost that probe that was up with his army. So this is actually... That has bought actually Curious enough time to get out a bunch more roaches. So I don't know if this timing is really going to work anymore. No, he's not going to attack most likely anymore. He's adding two more gateways. He's going to hit with Blink and perhaps plus two weapons. He hasn't started plus two weapons just yet, though. He's actually just catching speedlings around the middle of the map, trying to do what he can with this army. These roaches are going to come and try to bully the units away from that pylon, but at this position it's going to be very difficult for Curious to attack up that ramp. He needs to be very careful with these zealots. He keeps sending his zealots forward. There's plus two on the way. A little bit late, he's getting the robo so He's going to do a very late nine gateways observer <laughs> blink plus two timing attack. Wow. And this is a common follow-up to what he's done here. Usually you see this. 
as actually kind of like the main timing attack. It's not like, well, I attacked and I missed my timing and now I'm going to do this. You don't normally see that. You normally see Prost go back and take but a third. But speaking of not normally seeing, Oz does not see those roaches going around in the middle of the map. It looks like those roaches are hanging for a counterattack of some kind. Oz has instinctively pulled back, but no, he's moving forward again. Those roaches are completely uncontested. They might be sitting up for a counter when Oz attacks, or they might just attack and try and kill some buildings and then fall back. It looks like Oz feels content holding these roaches as maze, not turning around. Actually, now he turns around, but he turned around really late. These gateways are going to fall so quickly. There is a sentry to force field the gap, though, and force field he does. And the army of Oz is coming back. They're going to scare the roaches off. Is he going to try and trap the... Oh, I think he's going to try and trap the he roaches. He's try. sitting half of his army around to the ramp. This isn't going to be easy, but he is going to try to trap these roaches. It looks like he may oh, very well get them here. Oh, this is so such a scary situation. He does get a bunch of force fields. He traps a bunch of roaches in little prison, but Burrow is up, Burrow and there is, is no done. observer no yet. Observer, and this has actually worked in the favor of Curious. Right now, Curious is making Hydras back at home. He's got Hydralist range. Eight oh hydras no. are already out. Oh no, he can't lose all those sentries. The stalkers so are nearby. He's going to lose all of his sentries. That is horrible. And there goes any chance of having the uh, terrain advantage, basically, in an attack. He's killing off some of these roaches now that he has an observer there. But uh, I don't think... I think he just lost too much in that battle. Yeah, Oz is way actually, behind now. He actually basically threw uh, away the game with that decision there yeah. to go for that. And now he's got an observer. He has practically no units. Pylon is going to barely stay alive, but that's the only thing he has close to Curious Space. He's going to try to make another pylon, and he actually gets lucky. The probe somehow sneaks by the creep of Curious. He has a pylon, but guess what Curious has out right now? He's got 22 roaches and 17 oh hydralis. He has range. He has plus one missile attacks. He's got Burrow moving on the way. He's got five more roaches on the way. That is not an army Oz could beat right now, especially without force fields. And He's the hydras are going to fight on creep here. He spent the first seven or eight minutes of the game just getting those sentries so he could have an advantage later. He does have a few sentries, so he can force field out, but I think that's all of his force field energy. Yeah, he that's may actually have... all the force field energy he can use right now. He's working at a few more. Oh, and here he comes in. He's just going to have to use Blink to his advantage. The Roach is soaking up so much damage, but the Hydra's doing insane DPS behind killing those Roaches so quickly. Sorry, killing the Stalkers so quickly. I don't know if he's going to be able to break through. Absolutely Blink doesn't do enough when you, all your units are low. Uh, and Curious just runs forward with his Hydras, knowing that he can crush this army so easily. And yeah. even with better upgrades for Oz, it just doesn't matter. He's losing too much here. And the Hydras and Roaches pressing forward are going to kill the last of the Stalkers. GG coming from Oz. And Curious takes game number three as well. Wow. And you know, um, this guy is so good. IPL spoiler alert. Um, an Epic's Open player just last night actually lost 4-0 to a you know another Zerg player in the finals, and uh, it may be the day of this happening for Epic's Open. <laughs> if this happens again today. Two Epic's Open players losing in finals 4-0 to Zergs. And you know I was actually watching the IPL, and I think it was Pain User who was casting. Um, he kept saying. I think he's, or maybe it was H. I don't remember which one of them said it. Like, he, every time he was about to say, he was like, he's about to lose. He kept saying that, and I was uh -huh. like, I don't know. Like, I felt the same way because I was like, he might be about to lose, but I actually feel like Oz is so about to lose this last game. I'm like, I actually, after that, after the first two games, oh, I was like, man. oh, he can still bring it back. But after that game, I'm like, I don't know, man. That was just so well played by Curious. Actually, there was no holes in his play, man. Zero holes. And, and you know what? Same thing happened with this last game as happened in the previous game where Oz goes for an attack. It's a really good timing where he has a chance to really just break the Zerg. And Curious is like, no, look at these Zerglings over here. No, look at these Roaches over here. Uh, and then, like, just that amount of time is all he needs to get out. More Roaches, Hydras, everything he needs to defend. So when the timing attack actually happens, it doesn't happen. Well, what happened is... And, of course... Yeah. He, he went for one timing attack that he didn't succeed in. He didn't lose any units. But then instead of just going home and killing the rocks and taking the third base, he was like, I'm going to do the next phase. And then Chrono Boost plus two out and added a few more gateways and added a robo and started yeah. Blink. And he was like, I'm just going to do like an even different later version of a strong timing attack, but do it about three minutes after it normally would hit. Yeah. Against a Zerg who knows it's coming, who's also got Hydras out when the attack hits. And it just uh, didn't quite work yep, out. pretty much. And then, um, of course, he had, like, a really good idea where he's like, 
oh, those roaches are cornered. I'm going to come in from both sides and surround the roaches. And it was he like it was a, so much with that too. It was a really good idea, but he just didn't actually execute it as perfectly as he needed to. And instead of killing all the roaches and getting an advantage, he lost all his sentries and got a huge disadvantage. Yeah, all the roaches burrowed, and then he left his sentries on top of them for some reason. And then the roaches were just like, "Well, I, I guess I'll just take these free sentries. Thank you for offering." Yeah, he just wore, wait for the force fields to wear off and then attack. And I thought Osgood was, was going to do another set of force fields and go in for the original plan, but it, he didn't. And just painful, unfortunately. Uh, but so yeah, Curious is on the verge of a 4-0 victory here. He can feel the Codex Medallion in his grasp already. All he has to do is reach out on Daybreak and take it. Will he do so or will Oz stage a comeback? We'll find out right now. <laughs>